What's up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and in this video what I want to talk about is this manual camera app that I discovered and I discovered this because I was uh, watching a Udemy course on digital photography today and I wanted to find a manual camera app for the uh, Android device and I found this one, it's actually called Manual Camera and it's right here as you can see that the logo it's kind of hard to see it's actually a black logo let me take it up to a, um, a lighter screen so you can kind of see what it looks like you see it's black because this is the AMOLED screen but anyway the manual camera basically gives you controls like a total control controlled camera um, DSLR SLR things like that so on here you're gonna see on this uh, the YouTube camera I use for this channel. This is the WB350. I'll leave a link to Amazon down below if you like the looks of this camera, maybe you wanna pick it up. And I'll also leave the links to the full review I did on this camera as well. This is the Samsung WB350F. It's kind of like a small point and shoot version of the Samsung NX100, or I think that's what it's called, but it's like the higher, the higher end version of this. This is more like the, uh, not the entry level, but kind of like the mid range. But anyway, if we go down to ASM, that's going to stand for Aperture. Um, it's, sorry about the focus. It's, it's kind of hard to get the focus on. I'm using this iPhone to record, which actually doesn't do that good with focusing, as you can see. But anyway, ASM, sorry about that. Uh, you can see manual, shutter priority, and aperture priority right there. And um, in here, you could change things like ISO, shutter speed, aperture, exposure, things like that. And then manual camera, to get this app, all you gotta do is head over into the Play Store and type in manual ca camera and buy Geeky Dev Studio, I think it is. That's where it comes from. So that's where I downloaded it. Now you can get the APK for this, you know, this app, but I would recommend not doing that because if you do that, you're kind of not de <laughs> supporting the developer. And it's almost like, you know, getting things for free and, you know, it's kind of like stealing basically. So I wouldn't recommend doing an APK. I would recommend just picking it up. It's $2.99 on the App Store, or App Store, the Play Store, that is. And yeah, it just gives you total control over the camera. And I found it to be really good. So if you go into it real quick, manual camera, you're going to see right here on the left hand side, we have. Um, the flash button right here, the white balance. We have focusing, which you can change focus distance. You can like zoom in on the focus. You got ISO right here where you could change how much light you let into the camera. You have shutter speed, how fast the shutter takes off. So you can see you can really get different, you know, optimization versus the normal Google stock camera. And you have exposure compensation right here. If you also if you hit settings, you can change the megapixel count all these picture sizes right here all the way down to 0 0.1 megapixels i don't know who the hell would use that uh jpeg you can do raw which is pretty dope because raw is for like professional photography if you really want to get those files that you really need for that you know really professional photograph you can use the raw mode you got fx mono these are like those fx features you know those little you know kitty features i would <laughs> I call them kitty features i wouldn't mess with them so over here you can put maximum brightness on the camera app itself. You have a timer, which all cameras I think you should come with a timer. You can set the grid lines right here. And uh, you have settings right here where you could change uh, GPS location, sound, image browser. So this camera is just loaded with features. And for people with stock devices like Nexuses, they come with that simple Google camera app that just gets the job done, but it's nothing too, you know, impressive. It's just kind of a regular Google stock camera app. I mean, it's cool and all, but it's just kind of consumerish to me. It's not really giving you full control over the capabilities of your camera. So if you check out this manual camera app and you go download it, I think you're really going to enjoy it. But I would suggest that you know how to um, use ISO, exposure ratings, um, focusing, and um, what's that other one right there? The shutter speed. If you know how to use all those, this is going to be a great camera for you. But if you just tinker around with them, you can really get a great picture. And this is one I took earlier um, on my bike. I parked and I took this picture of Be Optimistic. We should all be optimistic. But as you can see, the detail that I got with, with uh, changing the shutter speed and the ISO on here was just ridiculous. I mean, if I get close, you can see there's just so much detail in that picture. And yeah, it's quite, it is due to the, um, it's also due to the quality of the Nexus 6 camera. It does have a pretty good camera here, a 13 megapixel with OIS. But I wouldn't say that it's the Nexus itself that caused, you know, all of this 
you know, to be so crispy. It, it was a lot to do with the app. So go download that app if you're interested. And anyway, guys, that was a video on one of the best camera apps for Android. And uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.